After processing, the two main forms of iron are on their way for future use. But what makes this metal special for electrical products? Iron does two jobs at once. It is strong and provides structure, and it has special magnetic properties. Magnetic fields tend to stray and permeate space. However, by adding an iron core, you can concentrate magnetic fields and easily increase power by 10 times or more. Alloying is mixing a metal with other materials. When you mix iron with carbon, you get steel. We can also alloy iron to improve magnetism. So although iron is kind of the star of the magnetic world, it's often paired up with other elements such as um, nickel or cobalt. To make the kind of sophisticated electronic devices that are used today, you need those unusual alloys to get the electromagnetic properties that you want. And the only reason we can have you know, nice, thin, lightweight laptops and so on is because we're using those rare earth magnets who could not do it without you know, magnets of that amazing strength at ridiculously tiny little sizes. Magnetic energy passing through steel can have some negative effects. Eddy currents create heat and loss of energy. In order to make motors and transformers more energy efficient, we sometimes use thin laminated steel sheets in the cores made of a special steel called electrical steel. Electrical steel has less carbon and more silicon. It is normally made in an art furnace from recycled structural steel. Transformers 